Oh, are we live? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to announce we've broken ground on what will become the world's first real life Stark Industries. Hey guys, I'm the Hacksmith, and as you know, we take fictional ideas from comics, movies, and video games and make real, working prototypes. We've made Captain America's Electromagnet Shield, his new Wakandan one, many different Thor's hammers, one that's impossible to lift, one that's super destructive, and we even caught lightning with one. And of course, Thor's latest weapon, Stormbreaker. We've got an Iron Man suit, and even went all the way to trying to fly like Iron Man using model rocket engines. It didn't quite work out, but later on we met Richard Browning and gave him an Iron Man helmet for his flight system. Which, by the way, I also got to try. Oh, and I've even tried mastering the mystic arts as Doctor Strange. Plus, we've also done tons of other non-Marvel related Make It Real projects. What's our true end goal, you ask? A real life Stark Industries. Now we're importing preferences and calibrating virtual environments. And we're taking the first steps to make that a reality. We just got the keys to a 13,000 square foot facility, the future home of Hacksmith Industries. And with this move, we're hiring a lot of new people. So if you're a talented engineer or filmmaker, I want you to work with me. But let's take a step back to see how far we've come and how we got here. It's been just over 10 years since I made my very first Make It Real project. These Wolverine claws are right here. I made them back in 2009 while working part-time in a machine shop. I've always enjoyed making stuff, ever since I was a kid, and I've always saved my money so that I could buy tools and materials to make more stuff. I started out in a small room in my dad's garage making chainmail, then I met Ian in high school tech class where we made cool robots for Skills Canada Robotics. And we started working on other projects together in his dad's garage like converting a 1993 Honda Del Sol to electric using parts from an electric forklift. We went to Conestoga College together, founded the Conestoga Engineering Society in 2011, and generally kicked ass, even at the Canadian Engineering Competition. After graduating with a Bachelor's of Engineering in 2012, we both went to work in the engineering industry. I moved to Toronto and lived in a crummy basement, but I turned my living room into a workshop where I first started making Hacksmith videos. And there you have it. I also started writing for Hackaday, and that's when I formed my first company and started reinvesting all the money I made into more tools and equipment. The following year, I moved back to my hometown, Kitchener, and got my first garage. I moved into this giant garage. Well, there's a house too, but I'm gonna live in here, so. Shortly after, I bought my biggest piece of equipment yet, my CNC laser cutter. That enabled me to start another business where I sold laser engraved cutting boards, all while continuing to make YouTube videos. The first project that went viral was in the fall of 2014, my pneumatic exoskeleton based off the movie Elysium. It got a few hundred thousand views and my subscriber count inched closer and closer to 100,000. That's the moment I thought, hey, this could actually work. I bought my first house in January of 2015 using my engineering salary. I searched for a house with a massive garage and shop, and what I found? Well, when I moved in, it was quite the mess. It's a bit messy. So, it's gonna take a while, but We'll make this place sparkling clean. But I had a vision in mind and I knew that having the shop would be the key to growing my YouTube channel and business. Wow, it's actually getting clean in here. It was a lot of work, but we transformed it from a huge mess into what you guys now know as Hacksmith Industries. Here's a montage showing just how much the garage has changed over the years. This is gonna be awesome.
just quick update. We've just put in a second mezzanine for all the couches up there. Less than a year after buying the garage, I quit my full-time job as an engineer with my mortgage in tow. I withdrew all of my retirement savings and went headfirst into trying to take this YouTube channel to the next level. It was risky, but I had my Hackaday part-time job and laser engraving business to help keep me afloat. Ian joined me as a business partner a few months later and we created our first truly viral project, the Electromagnetic Captain America Shield. In just one month, we got millions of views and went from 100,000 subscribers to half a million. We've continued with that momentum and since then we've made over 100 Make It Real projects, brought in over half a billion views and almost 8 million subscribers. We invest everything back into the business and have grown the team to over a dozen people, upgrade our production gear and we continue to upgrade the shop to have more workstations, be more functional, be more space efficient and have more storage. Now we're taking the next step with our giant new facility introducing the new home of Hacksmith Industries. With this space, we'll be able to hire more people, work on more projects, even bigger projects like the power loader, spy car, and I don't know, messing around with jet engines, and in general, allow us to make more videos. We're starting an official Hacksmith internship program that you can join and work with us, and we'll be expanding our school involvement with local high schools and colleges. Just like the last shop, this one is a bit of a fixer-upper. It's gonna take a lot of time to move, set up, and optimize the space. It's going to be a ton of work, but we are so excited about the opportunities. As it is, we are struggling to keep up with weekly videos and don't have many videos ready for release. While we're moving and setting up, we're probably going to have to take a little break from the Make It Real series, and there's going to be a few gaps in our production schedule. And without videos, we don't make any money, which is why we could really use your support on either Patreon or our YouTube membership platform. It costs around $5 a month, which is less than most people spend on coffee, and enables us to create inspiring content for everyone to enjoy. Plus, Patreon and YouTube members will be invited to our grand opening party, where you'll get to meet the team and I and see our projects in person. To become a member on YouTube, just click the join button below the video. Also, we're hiring. We're looking for some epic people to join the Hacksmith team. You can check out our careers page on the website or click the link in the description below to see the job openings available. I hope you guys are as excited as I am about the future of Hacksmith Industries. It's only a matter of time before we truly become a real life Stark Industries. All right, enough talking about it. Let's show you the new shop. So this is the main area. You're looking at about 10,000 square feet. Let's head on into the office. So this is our current lunch room. We've got the rest and relaxation room. Over here, we have our main reception area. We've got a small snack room. We've got my office. We've got Ian's office. We have the video editing lounge. And look, there's room for four editors. And guess what? We only have two. So if you're a talented filmmaker or video editor, I want you to work for me. Check out our website on the careers page. We've got another 3,000 square feet here. For all of you asking for the power loader update, here it is. It's lying on the floor. Got some more shelves set up with all kinds of storage areas. Over here, we have our studio booths. This is really exciting. This room is actually going to become our kind of like display area, gallery, gift shop. You're actually gonna be able to come here to see our projects and even like buy a t-shirt and stuff because having this space means we can actually start running events. We're planning on doing like high school tours and actual regular events that anyone can attend, which is pretty exciting. Plus, we're gonna have a grand opening event very soon. By very soon, I mean probably like next month. But 
all YouTube members and Patreon supporters will be invited to this grand opening to meet the team and see the projects in person before anyone else. Super exciting. So if you want to become a Patreon supporter or YouTube member, there are links in the description below. We're going to build the yellow wall right there. So over here is where we're going to put the main uh, work area. This is the future home of our machine shop. So we're going to be bringing in our Toromox CNC machines and our Maverick CNC plasma cutter that we got from Elite Mount Tools and they'll all go in here. So we actually have a proper machine shop, which is super exciting. Anyways, if you guys liked what you saw here, make sure you check out the vlog channel because we have a complete walkthrough explaining exactly what we're going to do with the space. And the beauty with having this much space is we can do stuff like this. Anyways, make sure you check out the links in the description below to learn more about the new site. I don't know what my cue is. And we're just getting started. Welcome to the future home. <laughs> <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. I just thought, I'm like...